Hey everyone, welcome back to Gannett Reviews. Today we're stepping on board a 2001 Siri 400 sedan bridge. At the time of shooting this video, she was up for sale in Daytona Beach, Florida, with an asking price of $169,000. This boat offers tremendous value for money. She's ideal for weekend cruising, but she's also got enough accommodation on board that she's also potentially a great liveaboard for you. There's so many different options, whether you're into fast cruising or also if you're into offshore fishing. This one measures in at approximately 44 feet in length. She's got a beam of just over 14 feet and a draft of just over 3 feet. She'll give you a cruising speed in the high teens and she's going to have a maximum speed in the low to mid 20s. Stepping aboard is easily done. This one's got an extended bathing platform and it's got a large door in the transom that leads into the aft cockpit. Once in the aft cockpit, you'll see there's plenty of space and this one's been kitted out primarily for offshore fishing. You only see a number of rod holders here. I also like the fact that you do have easy access into that bathing platform, both for the launch and retrieval of the tender, but also if you're into doing some swimming and diving and things like that, it's easy enough to get in and out of the water. The cockpit itself, I like the fact it's got this non-slip deck material. And for the most part, I was barefoot on board and it worked really well. And out here we do have the magma grill. There's an ice box underneath. And that's ideal for making all your favourite meals on board. But imagine being able to cook that fresh catch of the day on board as well. And although you don't see it on the video, this one's also got full canopy enclosures that includes the entire aft cockpit. So if you wanted to, you could have them in place. That's what you see those little button stud marks for, as you see it on the side of the hull. And as I make my way forward, I like how much space there is for walking along the deck. There's an easy handhold overhead. You get a high guard trail on the outside. And even as you make your way closer, you can see that there's also a handrail on the coach roof with a large sun pad in the middle. And at the bow, we do have the fender baskets. I always think these are great for storing the fenders and that way they're out of the way but easily accessible whenever you want them. And as I pan round, this one's got a timeless classic design to it. There's very little of this boat shows an appearance of a boat that was made in 2001 in my opinion. We do have those covers around the windows, that way it protects a lot of the interior and the woodwork. And again you can see we've got the hand holders as we lead back around to the cockpit. And once back in the cockpit I wanted to show you that there's a lot of space in the lazarette. And this is, again, an ideal place for storing ropes and fenders. You can store different spares and things like that. But as you see, first of all, you get this Westerbeek 8 kilowatt generator. This has got around 2,800 hours on the clock. And there's all sorts of service logs and documentation to go with this one. It's got the new AC raw water pump. It's got the props have been rebalanced. Major engine service has taken place and all sorts of other optional extras as well. And before heading inside, I want to go up to the flybridge. This yacht's only got the helm upstairs, so this is obviously where you're going to be cruising. But this one's got so much going for it, I don't see that being an issue at all. First of all, you've got this canopy cover enclosure where you can roll up the eyes and glass windows. You can remove them completely. You can have it as a bimini top. And up here, you've also got plenty of seating for your family and friends to enjoy you cruising with you, cockpit table in the middle for those snacks and refreshments. And I like the fact that there's multiple seats at the helm. I always think of these boats as being husband and wife team. And as you can see, we've got a full bank of modern electronics included as well. So we've got chart plotter, you get navigation, sonar, VHF, full engine instrumentation, this one's got bow thruster controls. Everything you could possibly need is all here and ready to go. So we've got the Garmin 1242 touchscreen. This is chart depth radar. There's also an EPIRB on board. And even controls for things like the spotlight and the windlass. And one advantage of having no lower helm is the fact that you get far greater space in here for accommodation. And first of all, I want to point out I get tremendous amount of headroom in here. I'm six foot two. I don't have any issue. You see, we start off with the saloon. 
There's also a dining area straight in front of that. You've got the galley to starboard. And then there's more space for the saloon on the starboard side as well. We've got a TV mounted up overhead with storage behind there. And I like the fact that most of these drawers, lockers, cabinets throughout, they've all got that push button lock mechanism. You see there's even storage underneath the seats. And that way everything stays safe and secure while the boat's cruising. It's also got a clever design for sliding out for your glasses, or you can even use this for bottles as well. And then we've got the window covers on, but you can see just how much window space we have here. So there's a tremendous amount of natural light when those are removed. And then it's got a very well equipped galley. Again, this is why I would say this has potentially got an opportunity to be a liveaboard. You get the three burner electric stove top. We've got the microwave convection oven. You get a deep stink, and that one's got the shower head as well as the normal faucet. Plenty of countertop space here as well for preparing all your meals. There's a good amount of storage underneath. Both for all your dry goods, but also for all your cleaning, as well as pots, pans, things like that. Everything's all safely stored away. And then we do have the fridge and the freezer. I always think it's handy having a freezer on board if you're going to be doing more of an extended cruising. Don't have to run to shore as often. And then as we head down the passageways, we'll lead towards the bow. On the port side is where you're going to find the guest cabin. And then here you've got two single berths. But for a guest cabin, there's a lot of storage options. You see they've mounted the baskets overhead. But we also have the full height hanging locker. This is all cedar lined. And again, this closes safely and securely so everything stays in place. But they've even got like little small compartments because storage is always a premium on a boat. So anywhere that they could fit a storage option, they have went ahead and done it. I just think it works out really well. And then opposite this cabin, you've got this section which is basically like a kitchen pantry. But again, it's got that push button lock mechanism. And then here, there's a lot of storage options with more hanging baskets on the door. But you can see they've been keeping plates in here. They've been keeping all sorts of bowls, things like that. Different options, again, just to make it more comfortable and practical for spending extended periods of time on board. And then the next door we have on the port side, this is where you're going to find either the day head or the guest head. The owner's stateroom forward is on suite. So in here you're going to find the toilet. And you're also going to find the shower. I like the fact that they are separate. That way it's easier to use both. And as for capacities, this yacht comes complete with 120 gallons of fresh water tank. It's got 350 gallons fuel tank and it's got 40 gallons holding tank capacity. And speaking of the owner's cabin, that's what you're going to find in the bow. This one's got a large island berth. There is plenty of room in here overhead. But I also like the fact that it's got as many different hatches and portholes. That way you get plenty of natural light coming through. There's also a lot of mirrors in here. And I think that helps make the cabin feel both brighter and bigger than it probably actually is. And behind these mirrors is where you're going to find more additional storage. And in the front of the cabin is where you can find access to the anchor locker. But speaking of that storage, you see this is all again cedar lined, it's illuminated, with different hanging and locking baskets in here. And as I mentioned, this one is fully en suite. So again, you're going to find a toilet in here. You've got the sink, you've got storage for your toiletries and personal belongings. You've got that separate shower. You'll see that that shower's also got the molded seat into the fiberglass, so you can sit down or stand up, whichever is more convenient for you. And then again, behind those mirrors, there's more storage. 
I just want a good size hanging locker space. Everything closes so securely, you don't have anything to worry about. And even as you get closer to the bed, you see there's a storage compartment in here, ideal for books, magazines, and things like that. And if I take you back through to the saloon, that's where you're going to find the engine compartment. Now in here, you've got a pair of Cummins 6 CTA 8.3 M diesel engines. These have got approximately 430 horsepower. Now the port engine has got approximately 200 hours on the clock. This was replaced in 2022. The starboard engine has got 1700 hours. This is the original engine from 2001. Both engines have been extremely well maintained. There are all sorts of service records that go along with this. But the owner and Joe, the broker, both welcome any sea trial and inspection as this one is in turnkey, ready to go condition. I'd like to thank Joe for the opportunity to come on board and check this one out. As always, I'd love to hear your thoughts and comments. If you can leave a comment down below. If you haven't done so already, if you can hit that like and subscribe button, it really does make a difference. And I look forward to catch you on the next one. Thanks, everyone.